Thanks so much, Cole. Unfortunately, I didn't hear a thing you said, but uh, hopefully our team can get that sorted out. I wanted to hear what he was talking to you about Stuart, uh, Stuart White or something. Also, so, here we go. Having a look at this incredible 3.9 kilometer circuit. There are six right-handers and two left-handers. And as you can see, heading down the main straight into Potter's Pass, you'll be heading into Potter's Pass in fifth gear, entering the corner at an incredible 288 kilometers an hour. You then head down to one of the fastest corners in the world, rifle range. And as you can see, entry speed there, 296. Exit speed and corner speed over or close to over 300 k's an hour. By the time you get down to Cocabana, which is turn three, you hard on the brakes all the way down to 92 k's an hour for corner speed from a speed of 300 kilometers an hour. In the big he started a little bit late and got onto the track, but he's sitting down in fourth place. So it's Craig Jarvis that's behind the wheel of the Ginetta. The two Ligiers behind him and side by side there with the two Bigfoot Express Porsche brakes as they head down into turn one, Potter's Pass. Good start here from all the cars. Pit lane starters will be heading out as well. You can see them just tucking in the back there. Already some maneuvers happening. Our pit lane correspondent, Colin Hasty, is down there waiting for us. So let's go and find out what he's found in the pit lane for us as you see the action on track there with the Runchies. I've got an update on this. It's gearbox day today at the racetrack. So he's stuck in sixth gear. And that's it. Game over for the Pirelli Shod Andrew Colbert 911. And sadly, Greg, this is one of the finest sounding motor cars in the history of motor cars. Really, really loud. So, hey, I'm not happy about that. So let's have a quick word. Andrew, you're stuck in sixth gear. I'm stuck in sixth gear and I, uh, yeah, it won't change down for whatever we're trying. Is, is it a mechanical issue or an electronic? A little bit of frustration. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Carl. Yes, indeed. Awesome stuff. And as you can see, we've now come to the point where we're an hour and 40 minutes into this race. And gives us a chance just to take a small break. But we're not going to be going away from our live streaming. Have a quick squiz at what Colin Hasty and Gary did yesterday to bring you up to speed as to what East London Grand Prix circuit is all about. Welcome to our track walk. This is East London Grand Prix International Grand Prix circuit. This place is steeped in fame, failure, and fabulousness. It is the most awesome track in South Africa. It carries the fastest average speed. I'm standing in pole position. Uh, this is where the Angel Ferrari is going to start from during the, the last round of the Mopar Endurance Series. The roads are open. It's public. I see a car coming towards me. I hope he's not going to drive over me. Right, so how do we open the lap? Well, it starts with crossing the line and probably moving over to the left-hand side of the road. This is a public road, it's a little bit bumpy. What is our objective? To get back to where we started in the least time possible. This is all about speed and decreasing time. So in the distance, we have the awesome Potter's Pass, turn one, on this famous circuit. It is the biggest, fastest, meanest track that treats drivers in different ways. We'll find out now why. It is far down the road. You'll see the fork. That fork is a public road left to go home, right to be famous. This is East London International Grand Prix circuit. We're gonna take you for a lap. So we've come down this public road here, massive straight, kind of where you can see the yellow car. The road to our left here is just a normal kind of public road and nothing to see there. But, boys and girls, this is the revered and feared, the most awesome corner in South African motorsport. This is Potter's Pass. What, it, what you may say, is it about Potter's Pass? It is renowned for being the corner that requires the greatest testicular fortitude in order to get it right. It is a corner that is critical to your safety, to your life, to your lap time, and in general, to your happiness overall. So we'll see here, we've got a straight, and I want you to have a look with me. This is not a kink. It is not a mere deviation in the road. It is a corner. You will see over my shoulder here, 
the marks as people get it wrong. We are not going straight here. Look at the angles. We've come from there. And I'm going to hold my arms out. We've come from there. And we are going there. It is a massive corner. We're back. Ian Smith, you can calm down, buddy. We're back for racing. Yes, indeed. As you've been gone, not much has changed, though. Uh, the one thing that has changed, just to give you a heads up, is Stuart White has dropped down to third place. So we now have Nick Adcock in the lead of this race. He leads out now, currently lapping at 1 minute 23s. Uh, we got Dane Angel up in the second place. Stuart White has dropped down to third. That's due to the fact that he did come in for a pit stop. So a little bit of a change up there. So the new rubber is going to bind it. <laughs> you got to love a Ferrari belting it out of the pits. So Ferrari's little brother from the same kind of family is the alpha that comes down the, down the pits. This is Theo von Fieren. Jeez, he's brought this thing in fast as hell. Stops on his marks. Lovely, lovely, lovely work. Right, driver change. So um, Mr. Shorter will get in there. Brad Shorter, bit of inspection of the tires. The left rear tire is the one that's on this particular car that takes a hell of a lot of punishment. So fuel is going in, air is... Position, hold the acceleration. Oh, lights on and we are going. Here goes Daniel Brett with the lights flashing. I'm not quite sure why he's flashing lights. Maybe he's uh, waving to somebody in the crowd and he's going for it. He's going for the whole shot. He's going to get it. Toby's looking at him going, what am I going to do about this black Porsche in front of me? Nothing. You can do absolutely diddly squat. Johan Engelbrecht has got the whole shot and Toby Fenter unfortunately has to go into second place. So yep. Fenter in second. It is Scribanti in third place. Arangi's in four. Darby Ulifur is in five. He got ahead of the 458 there of Angel and then it's Campos with the Trans Africa Racing 430 Ferrari of Jonathan Detoy all over the back. Detoy has had a really tough day in the saddle. It's not usually where he runs. He runs at the front end of this field. And